Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having a good weekend, and today we're going to be discussing some interesting comments a DICE general manager has made about the future of Battlefield 2042. We're going to take a deeper look into who this DICE general manager actually is, because I think it's a pretty interesting insight, and you guys will quickly see what I'm talking about. And I actually want to ask you guys a question right off the bat. As some of you might know, I plan on making a pretty extensive Battlefield 2042 review. But with Battlefield 2042 Season 1 coming out, and just the way that it kind of went, do you think I should postpone the review until at least the fourth season comes out? Because I feel as though it could potentially be unfair to put a review about a game out that doesn't have, I guess, all of the content or patches out yet. But the main reason is, I would actually like to see if they cancel the game's content or not. And for me to figure that out, we have to wait until Season 4. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you want the review next month, or do you want it a little later on? So, going over these comments posted by Battlefield Bulletin from DICE General Manager Rebecca Kutaz, she says that the studio is at the heart of the future of Battlefield franchise and has no time for other projects. We're focusing only on Battlefield. In three years, we want to be the FPS powerhouse that DICE deserves to be, and that is what we're going for. And here is where I have to interject, here we go again. You, you know what I mean? Like, here we go again with the, oh, we're dedicated, and oh, you know, it's going to take time, but we want to get to where we want to get to, and we've all heard this before with Battlefield 5. And honestly, I'm at the point where I'm just so tired of hearing, like, PR reassurance stuff that... I'm just at the point where I'll believe it when I see it, and I think a lot of other people are. But she goes on to also state that Vince Zampella, Byron Bede, Marcus Leto, and Alex Seropian work with DICE, if not on a daily basis, a weekly basis, playing the game, reviewing challenging, and sometimes asking very hard and very good questions. Well, I, I would certainly like to know what those very hard and very good questions are. That's just such a vague way of stating things. But when I saw this post from Battlefield Bulletin come out, I have to say I did not know who Rebecca Kutaz was, and she's of course the DICE general manager. So I did some quick research and I found a bunch of game credits that she has been credited for working on. And keep in mind, I'm not trying to like diss her or anything, I'm just trying to say she's in a general manager position, I don't think she's making any gameplay decisions. Someone this high up is going to be in involved in sort of like people management. But, unsurprisingly, she has not been credited with working on many FPS multiplayer video games. The closest thing I could really find to an FPS multiplayer video game is Tom Clancy's The Division and Tom Clancy's The, the Division 2. And obviously those are vastly different games to Battlefield. The rest of the games were, you know, she worked on Assassin's Creed, she works on a bunch of those, you know, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Unity, Black Flag, Assassin's Creed 3, Revelations, you know, a bunch of Assassin's Creed games. She's worked on a handful of motorcycle games, driving games, snowboarding games, even some cooking games. But, like I said, this doesn't really give me much confidence in the leadership of DICE when I find their game credit profile, and I see that the closest thing to an FPS game they've worked on is an RPG game that just happens to have FPS uh, gameplay. And this sort of thing doesn't really seem to be uncommon when it comes to DICE. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but wasn't someone put in charge of something Battlefield related and he was a literal, like, Candy Crush developer? So, I don't really know what's going on here, but I think a lot of people will agree with me. Uh, we'll believe it when we see it. Battlefield 2042 Season 1, I would say, is sort of a surprise as to how well it's gone recently. I'd say the map is fairly well received, and the overall content, while it's still unacceptable for the amount of content we received, I would say that the reception is decent, and the player count has remained pretty steady. But with that being said, I think Battlefield 2042 as a whole really was a gut punch for the Battlefield 2042 community. I think you could bring on Jesus Christ himself to work on this game, and I don't even think the community would, would band together and believe that something good will come out of it. And that is simply because... We've just lost all confidence in DICE's ability, no matter who works for them, and the proof is going to be in the pudding from here on out. And I think that same sentiment is definitely reinforced by the community reaction to basically anything that Battlefield posts on social media. Even things like, oh, we're restarting servers. If you go on Twitter and you look at some of the replies to that, it's just every single person on that post is like, I want a refund, you know, fix your game, all that stuff. 
So people are done with words. People are done with these weird, like, community reassurance posts from any developer, any, you know, general manager, any community manager. People are done with words. They want action, they want content, and they want results in-game that are noticeable. And in my opinion, that is very good because I made this point a couple times on my stream, which, by the way, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and follow my Twitch channel. Link is down below. Thank you so much for watching the videos and watching the streams. But I've made this point a couple times on my channel. Battlefield 5 woke up a lot of people to how bad the recent Battlefield games was, what, but it still unfortunately didn't wake everyone up. Battlefield 2042 was so bad that it managed to wake everyone up about how bad Battlefield games are. And obviously you see the results of that. And it's good. No, it's good. It is a totally warranted reaction for the product that everyone has received. And it certainly warrants an internal reaction from EA and DICE and has actually warranted a internal reaction from EA and DICE with obviously bringing on a bunch of new people, firing people, hiring people, all that stuff. The unfortunate reality is it still hinges on DICE delivering and their track record with that is uh, not good. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for 26,100 subscribers so closely after hitting 25,000 subscribers. I stream every single day at twitch.tv slash enders. And definitely let me know in the comments, do you want the review next month, which I can still deliver that? Or do you want the review later down the line when the game is more, I guess, flushed out with the content? So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.